Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do some conversions. More conversions, but more complex conversions. This is stoichiometry, or the relating of mass of one material to another using a balanced chemical equation. So we've done mass to mole conversions, we've done mole to mass conversions, we've looked at particles. Now we're going to start comparing material, substances, and balanced equations. So I've got an example question here. We're just going to do a worked example. I know I've got 430 grams of nitrogen that's given to me. If, those, if that's reacted, how many grams of magnesium will also be reacted? So we're going to go from nitrogen, if I have 430 grams, the question is how many grams of magnesium will you also need to do that reaction? Remember, a balanced chemical equation gives me ratios. For every nitrogen, I need three magnesiums to get one magnesium nitride. We can talk in that particle sense. But particles aren't always helpful because I can't do that in a lab. So we can apply molar quantities because that's particle to particle as well. In other words, if I have three moles of magnesium, I would need one mole of nitrogen to produce one mole of magnesium nitride. If that's my ratio, I can use any quantity, convert to moles, and then convert to another substance, convert to the moles of that substance, and that's stoichiometry. So we're gonna do three steps. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the mass of N2 to moles of N2. We're gonna convert from mass of nitrogen to moles of nitrogen. That's step one, three conversions. Step two, we're gonna go from moles of N2 to moles of magnesium. We're gonna convert our material. Then step three, we're gonna go from moles of magnesium to a mass. Get back into, gra into that gram, uh, gram world. So mass of magnesium. So three steps, three conversions, three ratios. We're going to set up our units to cancel everything out, and then we can see where we end up. So the first thing I'm going to do is mass of nitrogen to moles of nitrogen. To go from mass to moles, we take our known quantity. So we're starting with 430 grams of N2. I'm going to set up my ratio. I want to cancel out this gram unit. We're going to change from grams, so that goes on the bottom, to moles. So now I have a ratio that cancels my mass and converts it to moles. When you're finding the mole value, one mole of a substance is equal to its molar mass or its formula weight. Nitrogen on your periodic table is 14 grams per mole. We have two of them, so we have 28 grams per mole. And when we calculate this, we've got a calculator here, 430 divided by 28, gives me 15.4, so 0.357, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna say 15.4 moles of nitrogen. So I've done step one, done. Now step two, going from moles of nitrogen to moles of magnesium. Because these are ratios, we can treat each chemical as a unit. Just like we did with mass and grams here, we can do the same thing with nitrogen as a unit. So I'm going to set up a second ratio, second step. I'm going to cancel out. I'm going to ch change from nitrogen to magnesium. So this ratio will change from nitrogen to magnesium. And we use your coefficients. So three magnesiums for one nitrogen. Remember, no coefficient means a one. So we're gonna do 15.4 times three. We're gonna multiply this. I need three times as much magnesium as I do nitrogen, and I get 46.1 moles of magnesium now. This is my new chemical. So we've converted from moles of nitrogen to moles of magnesium. Step three, now we need to go from moles back to grams. That's what the, the question asks for. Grams is a mass unit. So we're going to convert one last time. This time, converting my mole unit back to a mass unit. One mole of a substance is equal to its formula, formula mass. Uh, magnesium is 24.3 grams per mole, per mole. Can't talk. Multiply this by 24.3, and we end up with 1,000. 119.5, this is, moles are gone, grams of magnesium. So we've now converted from a known quantity of nitrogen to a known quantity of magnesium. If I react 430 grams of nitrogen to completely react, I would I need to have uh, over a kilogram, 1,119 grams of magnesium. So we can use stoichiometry to prep for labs. We can figure it out. 
looking at how much we reacted or how much was produced to figure out did we make everything, was there some loss in there somewhere, but that's your steps, that's your process. Most of these times you're gonna go from grams of something to grams of another thing, three conversions, mass to moles of one, convert your substance using your balanced chemical equation, and then back to a mass from there. Hopefully that's helpful. If you have questions, you get stuck, leave comments. I'm happy to make follow-up videos. You can look at some of the other ones, and I'll see you in the next one.